Alright, so tonight I got two characters that are well one seventy four and really close. And the other one is let me see sixty six. So I need to get them up a little bit. I'm trying to get a few of my Republic characters a little further along, so We'll definitely finish up the road to 75 for Jinxana and then for the other character, Wu Jinx, we'll run through probably a flashpoint or two, try to push her up to a couple of levels hopefully this evening. So that's the plan. More than likely, because this character is so close, we'll probably just run two, maybe three PvP instances, and that'll be it. So probably getting her PvP daily will be sufficient to push her over the level edge. The other character is going to require a little bit more, so we'll probably do some flashpoints, I imagine. Oh, she's actually halfway through her daily, because I only did half her daily last night, so... So I might need to do her daily plus a little bit. We'll see how it pans out. over here. Yes, I got that and that's it. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember if I'd finished that. That's all done. It kind of feels good to have trimmed out a lot of this stuff I was carrying around in my bank account because it was just so much old gear but it was because you know the old way of doing companions was you had to outfit them and uh, you know the gear mattered so now you don't it doesn't matter which is great makes it a lot easier. So yeah, I'm super duper in favor of all that stuff. Let's see. Because we'll be able to upgrade when it hits 75. We'll be able to upgrade quite a few things right away. This character's already passed any of these things, so... Those won't help. Yeah, but this will require 71. And I guess a few of these I could upgrade right away, because... Oh, of course, level 71, so I could do them now. doesn't matter. I mean, it's so little, so little time is going to be used with whatever I add in here. But also, what else am I, I'm not really doing anything else with these mods, so might as well do something with them. Some of these are, are uh, oh, but they're not, 
I've already got stuff that's that good or better. Never mind. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, let's see where I can put this stuff. Oh, let's see. I see you're all 268 stuff anyway. I guess these weapons here aren't quite that good, so we could do this. So this is what? Mod and enhancement, so... Pop that guy out, that guy out. Up in these guys. I mean, they're. I don't know. That's mainly not a good idea. Their defense. Yeah. Sometimes the number value is such a big difference. It doesn't matter that the stats are wrong. No. Yeah. The stats will be a little wonky, but it's actually fine because it's going to be used for like two battles and then maybe three and then it's gonna change all that gear is gonna change anyway so or almost all the gear I accept all forms of currency. do you do you what can I buy with my dentuing surveyor's notes huh 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 yeah, you don't accept all forms of currency. I accept all forms of currency, except for the ones I don't. These war zones are so interesting. I'm still getting used to them. Really not quite used to how they work yet, but getting there. The more I play them, figure out little things each time I play them. Like I learned that getting these things is useful. That's useful because now I can go somewhere like here that has nothing going and I can grab it. Which is useful because really no one's going to come out here initially because it's not one of the marked areas. But we're not going to have a lot of competition because Purple team is not even going to know to come out here until just now. And a lot of them will be otherwise engaged at this point. So the little green... Green lightning bolt, I guess. Pretty, uh, pretty useful. Now, unfortunately, a bunch of my team's coming in here. They should go be taking the one in the middle, but, you know... Go take the credit sign one. Come on, guys. Well, I don't mean... Didn't mean to leave me here, but... Alright. Alright, 
right, this little timer's almost up anyway, so this doesn't matter. There we go. Now I can just go up there and get another one. Oh no, uh-uh. Come on. I'll let it go, buddy. Alright, what does this thing do? Because I don't know these things at all. Oh, get out. Get off. Multiple, increase the score gain from active, something, something, something. Yeah, Alright. Oh, okay. It's actually a pretty good one. Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm dead anyway, but... Okay, that one's actually pretty cool. Well, no one's standing around here, so let me take it. Might as well get points. Now, see, the other thing is, I know where those things are outside next to the ship, right? I figured that out. But, and I know there are others, but I don't know where they are. So, I've got to do a little more figuring out of where the other ones are. Oh, I see one right up there. Oh. I don't know how to get up there. I mean, not directly. Oh hey, we've got both things this time. That's helpful. Well, that's going to get us some points. Okay. So now you can just move on. I'm just going to ignore this guy that's attacking over here because it's, who cares? We need the points more than anything else. Alright, now where do we go? Uh, this way-ish. See, I think to get that, that's just a regular battle one, but I think you can just go straight through here. So these guys are all fighting regular PvP stuff. They're not quite understanding the point system, I don't think. That's okay, it's good for me. Because they should be coming this way to attack. Because nothing's going on in the center. But they're not. I don't know why. Who really cares? interesting. So, I mean, it's interesting because it looks like the other team just doesn't have any idea how to get points. Which is kind of cool because that means we'll get points. Fine with me. Whatever. Alright, so there's a thing up here, right? Or no? Yes, there's a thing here. I think. No? Alright, where am I going? Let's go to the credit thing right here. It's gotta be... I saw it up here. Where is that thing? When I was down there earlier, I saw this thing. I don't know, I don't see it now. Oh well. Let me go claim the thing. Worry about that later. Get the points now. It's a little boring, you don't have to fight anything, but hey, that's okay. At least you're getting points. Victory is victory. See, now I can't see it. I saw it earlier. I don't know, maybe I ran over it and it didn't select something? I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. Like I said, i got to figure out some details of that, this flashpoint that I don't quite get yet. 
we're getting there. We'll figure it out. Of course, I just move between these things. I don't know which one's going to come open, so I'm just going to move around. Yeah, see, this is a good idea because I know I can go this way. Get this thing. And then I can go take this one and I'll get accelerated whatever stuff. Because um, of the blue thing, if I read it right. I'll read it again here in just a second. I'm just getting the middle here. There we go. And add increase the score gain, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Might as well. I'm just standing here by myself. Might as well have more points. So if I understand right, when you have this symbol, it it okay, yeah, it goes twice the regular rate, so this is gonna finish faster. This ticks at the same rate, but has more points associated with it. So I'm, I'm starting to figure this out. It's only taken running this thing like 50 times to figure it out, but oh well. I think it's fascinating that, I don't know, maybe there's a fight going on here? Let me see. No, there's nobody over there. So if that thing's still gray, that means nobody from either team went over there because no one from my team's there. I don't know. What are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> That's fun. Oh well. You get that one, I'll get this one. Or you don't know what you're doing, or whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> We get another one of these things. Hey, we'll go back to the gunship. The no one seems to be there anyway. Which one? Oh, we got the red one. Oh, this one's not as good because it basically is a nullifier. It's basically if you get somewhere and your opponent has it, you can turn it off. I'm like, well, that's not very useful, especially in this situation where I'm basically unchallenged. So. But at least I'm getting points. We'll get 600 before this round's over, so I think. I don't actually know the exact calculus on how much it ticks up per round, but I mean, unless these guys are going to come challenge me, there's four people from the other team there, and they're not even... Okay, now they're coming over. All right. And I guess I asked for too much. <laughs> I asked for it, and I got it, right? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. plus side we should hit 600 pretty soon here so we're gonna win before the next iteration anyway um, yeah let's just go over to this one there we go and we're good great job guys I mean you know thank you me but yep well this one I'm finally able to come out on top most of the time on objectives. So. And no one even cares. <laughs> yeah, someone did damage, got all the stuff. Oh well. Whatever. I play most PvP in two possible ways. One way is I'm just the healer. If I, you know, not in this character, but in other characters. 
before I figure out how you score points to win and I work on scoring those points. I don't worry a whole lot about the uh, player versus player combat. Alright, got the second daily. That's good. And I'll finish it up for sure. You ready to do a translation? Maybe. Breaking news. A pirate fleet has assaulted the Republic planet Dantooine. The weakness of the Republic is obvious even to the galaxy's lowest scum. Ready to do it now? Sure. Alright. Alright, we gotta take a pause for a bit and we'll be back later. Got a little project to finish up. So, be back in an hour or so.